Minimoke 1964-1968 The Minimoke is a small, front-wheel drive utility and recreational convertible, manufactured and marketed originally by British Motor Corporation, BMC, and subsequently marketed under the Austin, Morse and Leyland brands. Designed by Sir Alakai Agonis and John Shepard, the Mini Moke is noted for its simple, straightforward, doorless design, and its adaptability. Originally prototyped as a lightweight military vehicle using the engine, transmission and suspension parts from the minivan, the design's small wheels and low ground clearance made it unsuitable as an off-road military vehicle. The design was subsequently offered in civilian form as a low-cost, easily maintained vehicle, achieving global popularity as a lightweight, recreational and utility vehicle. The first Mokes were manufactured at BMC's Longbridge, Birmingham plant, with 14,518 produced in the UK between 1964 and 1968. 26,000 were manufactured in Australia between 1966 and 1981 and 10,000 in Portugal between 1980 and 1993 when production ended. The name combines Mini with Moke, an archaic term for mule. When I Agonis designed the Mini, he planned another vehicle to share the Mini's mechanical parts, but with a more rugged body shell. This was an attempt to take a portion of the military vehicle business from Land Rover. I Agonis had previously designed the Nuffield Guppy in a failed attempt to break into that market, by 1959, BMC had working prototypes of what was codenamed the Buckboard, later to become the Mini Moke. These prototypes were shown to the British Army as a parachute droppable vehicle, but poor ground clearance and a low powered engine did not meet the most basic requirements for an off road vehicle. Only the Royal Navy showed any interest in the Buckboard, as a vehicle for use on the decks of aircraft carriers. Early promotional material made much of the lightness of the vehicle showing four soldiers traveling in the Moke off-road, then picking it up by its tubular bumpers and carrying it when, inevitably, its low ground clearance proved inadequate. In a further attempt to make something for the Army, a few four-wheel drive Mokes were made by the addition of a second engine and transmission at the back of the vehicle with linked clutches and gear shifters. This did nothing for the ground clearance problems, and mechanical complications discouraged development beyond the prototype stage. This vehicle was called the 20 and was shown to the U.S. Army, again with no success. Three of these vehicles were used by the Brazilian Army after being captured during the 1969 Rupin Uni Rebellion from Guyanese rebels, who had crossed the border into Brazil. During the Rhodesian Bush War there was an attempt by the Rhodesian security forces to create an armored moke as an improvised fighting vehicle, which was seemingly unsuccessful. The Mini Moke met with success in the 1980s when connected with actress and model Bridget Bardet. When BMC gave up on the idea of selling the Moke to the military, in 1963 they marketed it as a civilian vehicle, targeting farmers and light commercial applications. Several prototypes were built in 1963, one of which is still known to exist in Pinner just outside London, England. The Moke was launched onto the British market in 1964. The British Customs and Excise Department decided that the Moke should be classified as a passenger car rather than as a commercial vehicle, which meant that it attracted purchase tax, reducing sales in its intended commercial market. The Moke attracted attention as a cult vehicle due to the unprecedented success of the many through media exposure, such as its regular appearance in the television series The Prisoner, as well as in popular songs such as the traffic recording of Berkshire Poppies. Despite this, only about a tenth of the 14,500 British-produced Mokes were sold in the United Kingdom. Mokes continued to be made in Britain until 1968. British-made Mokes were fitted with a low-end 848cc transverse inline-4 engine, detuned to use low-octane fuel. They used the same suspension, gearbox and 10-inch wheels as the standard Mini. Originally, passenger seats, grab handles heater, windscreen washer and a removable canvas top were optional equipment, installed by the owner. The base price was GB405. The MKM Oaks had a single windscreen wiper and a floor-mounted headlight dip switch, and the only color available was spruce green. In 1967, 
the MK2 Moog added a passenger side wiper. Horn and headlight controls were moved onto the indicator stock. These later British Moogs were also available in white. The John Player & Sons Cigarette Company ran a team of Moogs in autocross competitions on grass tracks through 1968. These vehicles were equipped with rollover protection and used the Mini Cooper S1275 cc engine. Despite the lack of success in selling the Mini Moog to the British Armed Forces, an unknown number, unlikely to have been more than a handful, of examples were apparently used by land forces Falkland Islands during the Falklands War and its immediate aftermath, the source of these vehicles is unclear. At least one commandeered civilian Mini Moog was also used by the Argentinian forces during their occupation of the islands. The Moog was built in Australia from 1966 to 1981 where it was originally marketed as the Morse Mini Moog and from 1973 as the Leyland Moog. Initially Australian Moogs had the same 10-inch wheels as British Moogs and many saloons but in 1968 these were replaced by 13-inch wheels with longer rear trailing arms, which made them more practical for gentle off-road or beach use than the British version. There was also a widening piece welded to the wheel arches, front and rear to allow for wider tires and rims. The solid metal seats of the British Moogs were replaced with tubular frame deck chair seats. This variant started with a 998cc engine, which was switched mid-production to 1098cc. In 1976, with the advent of new anti-pollution requirements, Australian Design Rule 27A, the locally manufactured 1098cc motor was replaced by an imported version of the 998cc motor with an air pump and exhaust gas recirculation, which had been developed to meet UK, US, anti-pollution requirements. For a brief period around 1971, Leyland Australia produced a variant referred to in Leyland literature as Moke, special export, but commonly called a Californian, which had a 1275cc engine and was fitted with side marker lamps and different rear lights to conform to US FMVSS standards. The fuel tank from the Austin Sprite or MG Midget was fitted beneath the rear load area replacing the standard tank mounted in the left side box. The export Californian was readily recognizable by its roof and seats, trimmed in up-pop verve black and white tiger-striped vinyl or orange bali vinyl, which looked rather like a fruit salad, and was briefly marketed to the flower power culture in the United States. The name Californian and the 1275cc motor were resurrected in 1977 for Australian market mooks with denim seat covers, more comfortable seats, which concealed the same basic frame within, spoked wheels and complex tubular bumpers, known as rue bars. Australian mooks were exported to many countries, and pioneered large-scale exports of Australian-made vehicles. Leyland Australia made much of these exports in its advertising. The use of Australian-made mooks by the Israeli army, complete with a machine gun tripod mounted in the rear, attracted controversy and media attention. From 1975, a pickup version of the mook was produced, with a 1.45 by 1.50 meter, 55 by 59 n, drop-sided bed which protruded behind the back of the vehicle and a cloth top over the cab area. At least two four-wheel drive Moke prototypes were manufactured by Leyland Australia in the late 1970s, but unlike the British version, these used just one engine. Leyland were planning to market this version, but Moke production in Australia ended in 1981 and all that remains of the project is one of the prototypes which is now owned by an enthusiast in Western Australia and a modified differential crown wheel with gar teeth cut in the side to drive the rear tail shaft, in the personal collection of a Melbourne Mini Specialist. In 1977 a 1275cc Cooper S engine Moke, sponsored by Coca-Cola, was entered into the Singapore Airlines London Sydney Marathon. The car was driven over 30,000 kilometers, 19,000 miles, over 30 days and finished in 35th place. As Australian Moog production wound down, manufacturing was transferred to British Leyland's subsidiary in Portugal, which made 8,500 of the Californian Moogs in the Setbull implant between 1980 and 1984. 
In 1984 production was transferred to the Vindas Novas plant. Initially these mokes were identical to late model Australian mokes, very soon, however, they were altered to use then current British production mini saloon components, including the standard length mini rear trailing arms and the 12 in wheels with modern low profile tires, which the saloon had acquired during the mokes absence from Europe. In April 1990, British Leyland, by then called Rover Group, sold the moke name to Cagiva, a motorcycle manufacturer in Bologna, Italy. Production continued in Portugal under Cagiva's auspices until 1993, when Cagiva transferred the tooling to their own factory in Varese, Italy with the intention of restarting production there in 1995, which they never did, although some unfinished cars were assembled in Italy. Cagiva was made to pay a considerably higher price for the Rover-made parts than had BL's Portuguese subsidiary, and the enterprise never made financial sense. The Cagiva-built Mokes have a new top with C-shaped openings, as well as plastic curve handles at the rear longitudinal elements of the rollover bar. Since Cagiva did not own the Mini name, the 2071 cars they built were sold simply as Mokes. This brought the total production run of Mokes and Moke derivatives to about 50,000. 